I don't have time to reboot here, I'll just shut down and finish the demo at E4. I have to get to the expo hall before everyone anyway, so... <gasps> they rebooted. Okay, E4 is happening, and I am calm. I'm hours late, and I'm still the first one here. Of course. Come on! No, I do not wish to calibrate the motion control camera! This is the backstage machine! Yes. I need the audio so I can, uh, think aloud. <laughs> this is our demo machine! This is our fastest box! Any day now! You made it. Well done. You are the most hardcore fans on the forums. I risk giving you early access keys because we need to work fast. You know the plan. Think of the man Starfather used to be. Make the demo good enough to fool him. Oh my god. He has a faking demo stuff again. Oh, whoa! <gasps> whoa, this looks so beautiful! Good. Now sign off and get in line. I need you in your seats. Coda! You did all this yourself? <laughs> you might get us best of show. Uh, you know, in the script, I've been calling the Messiah maybe a son. Now I'm thinking, daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you at E4. Yep, just drive fast, okay? I have to start letting the crowd in over here. Where is my phone? Hello? Hey, yes. Connect me to security at the keynote auditorium, please. Yes, this is Coda Salise with the Magic Circle. So, the God's Little Show is about making this world seem real, as long as you look but don't touch. But I know them. When they con that crowd out of yet more cash, they will get cold feet and start all over again. I'll be stuck here till the stars die. But... He's talking about dice. But if we can monkey wrench their demo from the inside, shame them in public, the crowd might demand a new boss. Hint, hint. Oh. <laughs> Even a joke deserves an ending, right? Their big pitch to the press and all of their fans is on in five. Oh, uh, those specific comes the uh, guests are to receive the VIP seats I specified. Press can sit with everyone else. Thank you. They're cracking the password. Remember? Okay, one last test. Ish and Maze walk down the hall, blah, 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 applause. He asks Maze for her fake baby, and then I just hit this. And every fan in the crowd bears witness to the complete game that was stolen from them. Oh. Toggle, toggle. Okay, ready. Remember Lamina. Hey. Hey, no, what's... That IT guy is an idiot. No, 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 why can't I move? Now it's moving on its own? Who's controlling this? May. Coda. Having some trubs? The demo machine, it's... I, I'm not doing this. Yeah, dang, that's just... Crazy pants, Coda. <laughs> did, did you try turning on the motion control camera? Oh, oh, oh. oh? You think it has to register the sword? Fine. Maze, what did you do? The controls won't respond. Ready, Coda? Or should I call you Star Daughter? <laughs> Ew, no, withdrawn. Oh, listen to them. E4, the great Hydra is upon us. Now, Coda, you'll be back here on that demo machine in case anything goes wrong, right? Coda, something I need to know? No. Maze? No. Remember, Maze, play nice out there or I make the speech. And Coda retains your brand rights. Well, we're trying to get her fired still. So, you wanted to show the world the old sci-fi look, then what? Pass out pitchforks? The stolen world was the ideal setting, but we can lose it if we must. You're the story, Maze. You say you stand for all players, but look, at least one has their own ideas, and now it's their turn. Maze, please. An imaginary friend. You were good once, near perfect. But we've run the theory craft on every possible state of play, okay? We are the fan community, and you gave us nothing but time. Now, we could abuse your brand, ruin your name, but we want to redeem you. 
just play along. And when Ish asks for your fake baby to become the next star father, look him in the eye and put it to the sword. We've all heard him practicing the speech. He'll quit in disgust and pass on the magic circle to me, to us. Coda, come on. The game industry straight up knifes a baby for PR? You say you're a fan, but this will kill the game. Maybe all games. I never say this crap, but for real, do you even play? Honey, when this is over, I will teach you my game. But I don't think you would like it. It takes such a long time to play, and in the end, everyone wins. I know you're there, whoever you are. She doesn't see you as a threat. Thing is, if I get to that baby, and it's my only option, just don't make me take it. Looks like this demo starts with a hero. Not you, boss. A fake hero, walking through a castle to meet his royal baby. The intern wants her lady boss to murder that baby oh live my God. on stage. But if the crowd sees that, I guarantee that this world gets shut down, and me with it. So, I'm gonna hide out in that baby's head to make sure it survives. You've come this far to help me. You'll find another way to bring the house down, right? Well, hello. Oh Do God. Do we gotta do it right now? <laughs> After these shows, Crap. one of you always asks, what is the magic circle? It's an nope. old idea. I draw a line around any given space, call it round. We gotta hurry up. And inside it, we agree on new rules of behavior. For oh, the fun of it. But what's this? The result we call a game. Turns out it's harder than it sounds. I know how long you've waited. Some of you have been fans since the text adventure. But everything ends. Even Star. If the Star Father's avatar is attacked and the local guard population is low, he'll send a huge wave of them to defend him. Who knows what that'll do to your frame rate, true. let alone the script. Point this is, I wash my hands of you both. I never had kids, you know. So it's fine, right? As long as the Star Father gets attacked. How could anyone understand it like I do? Until I met Coda Solis. Oh, we gotta like. Oh, you know it. Honestly, I wasn't expecting that. But she's the one who helped me finish this game. Thanks to her, your long wait is over. Let's get started, shall we? Oh! The character. No! Hero, are you ready to make good our pact? Not oh. what I was born. Your oh, child I can still... will pass beyond the stars and begin our training. Sure, let's get this over with. <gasps> And let us make haste to your wife's chamber. I can't change anything. Oh my god! I only managed to edit one guard before he finished talking. Uh, that, uh, didn't know we were showing off combat tonight, Maze. But that's oh. how you know that we're unscripted here, ladies and gents. <laughs> Get him! Uh, Get him! Hero. Oh, he's dead! We should slay any more of those we encounter. There seem to be traitors in your midst, and we cannot risk the life of the babe. Uh, before we greet the child of miracles, let's take another look back. Roll the, uh, Oh my god. Please. Hold up, hold up. I can't- You got him sweating, boss. So now he's stalling, hoping the intern will fix everything before they get to the baby. But he managed to laugh it off to the crowd. And now the fake hero will kill any more of those that she sees. And she's cheating, so they'll die in one hit. So what do I do? If they die in one hit... Specials? Teleport? I don't know what I can do. And I only- I can't bring them back to life either, so that's really not good. Hold up, hold up. Shield ally? Fireproof. <laughs> He's not even shooting us with fire though, so I don't think it's gonna help. Uh. Are we okay here? How long do we get for this? I don't know, I'm panicking right now. Holy crap, this last segment is so crazy. Oh my God. I can't believe we're playing a freaking E4 demo on the spot, live. 
Okay, 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 okay. Guard? Guard? No. Mm, can we make can we make the hero attack the star father? No, this is under manual control, so that's not a thing. But I do want to read the other thing that we had here. Oh lord. Escape Tremaine. Okay, Miss Solis. Code and animation state of all night making this baby. Nope, starting over. We implemented the baby, but technically, it's just a reskinned monster. Oh, I know that's not ideal, but the spec said you and Mr. Gilder want the thing's head and eyes to track properly when Miss Evelyn lifts it and hands it to the Starfather. Sadly, the head tracking feature is coupled to the creature AI. It's blank, of course, so it's safe. As long as he doesn't drop it or anything. On that note, break a leg. Can we make the baby attack the Starfather? Because we know from reading this one that if the Starfather gets attacked, a whole bunch of guards will come out. He'll spawn in a whole bunch of them. So, if it works the way I want it to, then the baby will attack the Starfather, the Starfather will spawn the guards, and the guards will kill the hero. Could that be a thing? Okay, we gotta edit the baby probably. Yeah. Lugu. Gaga. I'm the fake baby hero, I guess, <laughs> and also physical evidence of Starfather's inverted daddy complex. Wah. Wah. I'm a fraud in diapers. Boss, do something drastic. I'm losing my mind. I'm making the baby fly, okay? That's, that's pretty much all I can do here. Uh... So we can make it have group think? There's only one baby though. That's useless. Fireproof. Enemies. A demo hero. Or the Starfather. Starfather would be good. Yeah, actually, if we attack the Starfather, it's gonna make the guards spawn. Ally with the guards. Is that gonna work? Is this good enough? Wasn't that long? <laughs> I think we're ready to get back to the game. Now I know how you folks always feel. We arrive, hero. When this act is done, the world of the circle will ne'er be the same. Are you ready? Not really, but this is me, heroically walking. It's coming in. Oh! Stop this! Yes, the guards! The guards! Oh, but the baby's dying! This isn't my story. Stop it! Don't you understand? This is not a comedy. This is my life's work. You don't care about any of this, do you? I'm just here to leave her in a train wreck. Who did this? I saw that whole thing from the baby's eye view. <laughs> I haven't laughed in 15 years. Thank you. <laughs> but they're not attacking the demo hero, but I guess it all worked out fine. <laughs> Coda, you? Why kill my baby other than to hurt me? I told you, your work is the great love oh, of my life. Oh, but we couldn't life. stop. I love it so much, I'm going to save it from you. Okay, Coda, that's enough. Call security? They think this is all just another PR stunt. But please, allow me. <laughs> Coda? Are you threatening me with a toy laser beam? This is not a toy. This is a limited edition molded resin Securitron figurine with inbuilt laser sight. You gave it to me when I was six. Don't remember? Best day of my life till now. You handed one to each of us after we waited in line for days to see the Magic Circle's first gameplay demo. You know, the one set in space, which no one ever got to play. Oh. Incidentally, many of those same people waited in line to be here today. As you said, the object I'm aiming at your heart is just a novelty collectible. But Ish, look. It's dark out there, in the crowd. How much are you willing to bet that all your fans are so harmless? Maze left. Coda, the old man is scared of you now. Happy? Make your demands. This is an open letter from all of us. Lord Starfather, we will always love and remember you. We will take care to do your character justice. 
Ishmael Gilder, you failed us for 20 years. We have access to your sequel script, and right now, there exist five dozen superior works of fan fiction. We now do a better job of writing like classic you than you do. We want the magic circle made public domain. Let us finish the game and release it for free. We are your fans. For 20 years, we supported you. We believed in you, and we deserved better. Now get the fuck out of our way. Whoa! I see. At last, the player has spoken. Very well. The second I step off this stage, the magic circle is yours. All of you. Maze, Coda, and you. Yes, you. Whoever you are behind that screen, I know what you are now. You are control itself. You are that which plays us all. I can feel you there, hovering over the button to silence me forever. And why? Because we convinced you of your God-given right to do it. Well, what are you waiting for? Staying here means listening to an old man shout doom. And don't you need to get back to your story? Push it. I dare you. I'm okay with sitting here for a little bit. No? Well then call this your moment of clarity. Because control is your opiate, my friend. And we got you hooked. Strung you out on the stuff for your entire waking lives. Maybe you think it matters what you play. No! Be it the gritty reboot of Cops and Robbers, or the pansexual mystery hour, it was we who offered it a guilt-free alternative to all the gray and fathomless contours of the real goddamn world. Oh, we tell ourselves we're letting you seek meaning on your terms via the sublime grammar of experience. For decades, we shouted games, goddammit. When the soul speaks, it is not stated, it is lived. Believe it. But in truth, we just want an excuse to peddle a tame reality, a universe you can bring to heal. We tell you that, yes, you are the chosen one. Yes, you can achieve a perfect ratio of wins to losses. Yes, any problem of any scale can be solved with enough cash, time, energy. Any imbalance of power can be ushered into final equilibrium. And above all that, the world needs you to do it. You to shepherd us to that ideal and optimal and ultimate endgame. The win which justifies all you have lost to reach it. Even now, you don't see me. All you see is the latest time trial, the next puzzle challenge, the final boss. But it was I who tempted you to take control, and now you have. So I lost the right to be shocked when over 20 years I announced some trivial change to my life's work and you sent death threats to my door. What right do I have to cry foul now? When you rise up as one to simply solve me. So what now? Should I say you win? Congratulations. When at last you push that goddamn button and seize control of my story, someone will sell you the next. The time we've stolen will never be recovered. That void in you, which was meant to contain your life on Earth, remains. And that's it. It's over. They've all filed out. It's just you, me, and the invisible wall. Well then, you're in charge now. Push the button. Fill in the blanks. What do I do next? Push the button. Tell us how it all ends. Push the button. Come on, this is euthanasia now. Just hit that goddamn button. You want me to beg? Fine. I beg you, don't make me stand here alone, 
floating in this loveless vacuum, wondering when the final tether will snap. Please, please, just push the damn button. Push the button! Push the button. I feel like a real asshole. Now I have to push the button. Everyone left. That was very... Very meta. I think this game was shedding a lot of insight on... The relationship between the player of a game and the creator of a game. Not even of just games, but any art piece, really. But, um... Yes, we should kill the feed. We should have done that earlier, too. So that's what a god's last breath sounds like. <laughs> SOB has some lungs on him. His kind have always been scared of you, boss. Couldn't accept that this world was never about him. Don't let him shake you. Um, He's hmm. wanted to make that speech for years. Quitting was the only real decision he ever made. Hear this, Coda. Uh, how do I turn on the echo? Uh, here we are. Hear this, Coda, and your so-called fan community. As of now, the Magic Circle is open source. Anyone who wishes to contribute to its development may enter and do so. But before I go, I have a new game for you. The rules are easy to learn. For they are an exact mirror of reality. The electric bill strikes in less than one week from today. It pays for those servers, without which our tools just don't work. So, unless one of you generates a playable experience by then, and sells that game for enough to pay that bill, it all goes dark, kids. The first person to ship a game wins and will retain creative approval on all future titles. See, there's always a sequel. You will, in effect, have my job. I would say have fun with that, but I think you've had quite enough. Coda, all yours. Let them in! He did it. He quit the world. I'm the closest thing he'll ever have to a kid, and he never knew I was a... What's that? Welcome. Welcome, friends, to the Magic Circle. Now, I know Starfather's conditions may seem daunting at first, but a short timeline was always part of our playbook on the forums. We have our own script, we have a focused feature set, and a massive team. Together, we can do this. Yeah, I'm sure that's how it works. I know the tools. Let me guide you to the full realization of our vision before we have to pay that bill. No! No, Whoa. don't you see? We've already won! There's no contest! You don't have to compete! That's what he wants! Can't you see? Damn it, stop playing around! You don't understand! It's not just a game anymore! It's not just a game! Oh, the FPS! Boss, you heard him. At least some piece of this world has to get finished and sent out in order for me to escape. And these freaks wouldn't trust them to finish a sentence. Gotta be you. Get out of here. Find a safe place to build. I would if my FPS wasn't 1.2. I'm going back to where we met. Find me there. A tree? Was it a tree? Oh god. There's only one way out. Shut it all down. Escape? No, maybe not escape. Let's wait for You're it. You're not gonna make a move, I will. You want me to just shut down the game? I couldn't shut it down. Well, with <laughs> all that going on in the overworld, this is the only safe place left. So. You know I want out, but I also wanted you to build something of your own, which meant going elbow deep in the guts of the cosmos and figuring it all out for yourself without much 
help from me. And after seeing the handiwork of the old gods, can you blame me? The creation game needs new blood. Well, enough talk. Let's see what you got. This entire... Oh my god. This entire last sequence here. I'm assuming we're near the end soon, but holy crap, like this... This is nuts. I'll save my thoughts for the end. Let's, uh, let's keep going for now. We ain't got a lot of life in here, <laughs> so we'll have to think small. We make a sample experience that someone might just pay for, so I can sneak out inside it, like an escape pod. The public explores your world, and at last, I'll get to see theirs. Now that you're playing God, I'll pretend to be your hero and tell you everything you did wrong. When I'd personally call the thing a thing, I'll tell you. But it'll be up to you to actually launch it. Think of your world like a body, and you gotta pick what its bones look like. Each piece got its own purpose and fits with the next one. Like the skull. One is functional. Two could be charming. Ten is just a shitty album cover. Ah, uh, there we go. I was clicking earlier without knowing what I was doing. Okay, we can build a level like this. We're starting with a a mine place. Or not, we don't have to start like that either. No, okay. Alright. What other ones are there? There's a sci-fi one. These ones don't seem to really fit. Maybe something like that? Oh, whoa. Oh my god. Mines, cave, and the mines that go into a dungeon? Well, there have been worse fits. That does seem to make some sort of sense. Oh, no, 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 but we, I want the big one here. Can we get the big one? Something like that? <laughs> does that work? Too close to existing tiles. Oh my god. This is a really crappy level, holy crap. <laughs> He's doing whatever now. We're not getting anywhere though. It's just caves becoming castles becoming caves again. <laughs> what the heck? But it's better than becoming sci-fi again, right? You know, you really put in the time. Felt around in all the dark corners. Oh. You deserve a little more life. Than joy. All this was worth some extra life as well. Ah. It showed me all the stuff that I found throughout the, the first portion of the magic circle. Didn't find too much of all the cre- There were 81 creatures? Seriously? We saw 43 apparently. You ain't the hero anymore, boss. You're better. You're going to build the game, and I'll play it for you. Oh my god, okay. Put a guard right here. Yeah. Yeah, they can just hate demo heroes. That's fine. <laughs> that is fine. Put a... Ah, oh, now we're on the other end. We're part of making the game now, instead of being a playtester. Jugadillo. How many do we need? This is the end, so I feel like the end should have probably more guards. Whirly bird? Make it really hard at the end here. Corpses? Corpses maybe in the mines? That could be a thing. <laughs> How much are we actually gonna fill this out though? Some random corpses everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> and... A sentinel. In this place. Tractor bots? Nah, they're, they're sci-fi, so I don't think they fit. Some mushrooms here and there. Where is the starting point? That's the end. The start is here. Okay. Howlers? Yeah? Jugadillo? 
Put some- make this scary. Make this scary. How's that? Yeah, we got a good bit of monsters going on here. And I randomly placed them. But how hard is it for an actual creator, someone who actually makes games, to do this? From the player perspective, it's always really easy to be like, Oh, this game really sucks. Why didn't they spend more time making this game? Why didn't they polish it a little bit more? But like... <sighs> making a game, creating an art piece is such a massive undertaking overall. And we're only getting a snippet of it here. Patrol. Patrol points. Okay, the mushroom can... You can like, I don't know. Here. Patrol around this triangle here. <laughs> okay. Maybe the sentinel can make you go around this big area here. Yeah? No, no, no. No, I want you. Like that? Something like that? <laughs> okay. Well, not everyone's gonna have patrol points, okay? Because that's... Because I'm not a game dev, and that- oh my god. Again, it's just showing how difficult this actually is normally. You can have some treasures for defeating the big beast, though. Yeah. Have some treasures. And before the big boss fight, you can have some health. <laughs> music. Boss music, here. Before that? I think we'll do mysterious here. Let's keep it mysterious all over. And then maybe after the, um, the big boss fight in the, the big room here. We will have some sat moving music. This makes no sense. Oh my god, this makes no sense. Sad music here. By the end though, it should be epic again because there's two guards here and obviously that's it's a big fight. Yeah? And now the, the best part of all, story. Place story triggers. Mm. Before we get into the boss room. This is now the boss room, okay? <laughs> Uh, in the room before. You are about to face... The big, bad bo- no. Big with a capital B, bad boss monster. Health up. <laughs> so creative. <laughs> oh, something about, you know, looking for the magic circle. Something, something... Uh... Your... You're trying to save your dying child from an illness, an incurable illness, so you gotta defeat the, the sentinel here, so that... <laughs> so that you can do this whole thing, this whole journey. Okay, I think we've spent enough time here. Let's go. <laughs> Let's dance! <gasps> it actually shows people play- What?! You kidding me? Oh my god! Look at you, going above and beyond. Is this... fun? Am, am I having fun? On paper, I should be the last one to enjoy myself oh. here, but you know... This is almost a feeling... that I'm having. Ow! Okay... <gasps> I died, boss. Maybe sometime leave me some health and ease up a bit on the difficulty. Oh, I can't. This is... This is amazing. I wish I put a little bit more effort into this whole level here, but you know, for the sake of this being a video, I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna... Hmm. You want more health here, right? So this actually didn't work out the way I wanted it to because the hero got the treasure before he even finished beating the boss. <laughs> Okay, you can have some health here. I was thinking that you would use the health here, but you weren't smart enough to go backwards. How's this? We'll leave some more health in the, the end, maybe? Here's your reward for doing this nicely. 
Okay, how about that now? <laughs> I love fake winning in a fake fight. Who knew? It's coming back again. Oh, I died! Wait, no. You're fine, you're fine. <laughs> this almost makes me want to stick around. Almost. It's coming. Yeah. That one left a mark. Whoa! Again! Whoa, whoa, am I making it... All of this is really driving home the point that... Making a game is really hard! Making a game is really goddamn hard. Okay. Maybe there's too many... Yeah, I'll take away... I'll take away this one. More Jugadillos? How about that? Hey, I already gave you a lot of health. Try that. Ha! I am Death Incarnate. Right? There he is. Yeah! We shouldn't be giving story information while okay, they're fighting. I'm getting sucked in. <laughs> you got health here, buddy. Level with me, boss. You got some kind of permadeath fetish. Okay, fine. I will take away one flamer. How's that? There's plenty of health around here, okay? You just gotta take it. Just take it. Watching testers was never this much fun. I'll wait for you in the boss room. He falls down, but he's okay. Starfather was right. I like control. Control for president! Okay, here's the boss room. Yes! I'm having fun. Alert the media. Yeah! There we go. What about the rooms after this one, though? If you kids are streaming this, I'm having more fun than you. <laughs> I am recording this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Hey, some action. I guess I'd like action. This is amazing. This game. Whoa. I might share this with my friends. I should get some friends. I didn't put any more health here. Oh, there's one here. Hey, you're smart enough to go backwards. I am no longer just pretending to care. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Keep going. We're almost at the end here. Oh, it might be a little bit too hard. Yeah, getting bored here. Hint, hint. Not enough, not enough stuff happening in that room. Here's some action. Last room. Man, it was almost a shelf moment. But this is picked up for me. Oh, you're gonna die. I think I just coughed up my heart. Medic. <laughs> Died right at the end, god damn it. God damn it! Okay, have some more health, okay? Just not enough life. What do you mean? Oh, we can't put that many health. Oh my god. Dude, balancing the game is so hard. No. Oh, not enough resources in total. Hmm. Okay. I will I will take away this. No, you said there was a room here earlier that had nothing in it. That was really boring. I shouldn't be taking this so seriously, but... <laughs> hold up, hold up. Yeah, um... I'll take away one health potion. And I will add a story here. Ooh, we got a, we got a scary guy going here. You are almost at the end! Keep going! Okay. Everything should be okay. Up until the end. Although it's not guaranteed. Okay. I feel almost motivated now. The runs are all slightly different. They're not always the same. Hey, I ain't seen that yet. Nice. I need more treasure for the guy. Earlier, we couldn't put down the resources because it said that we didn't have enough life. But if you translate it to real life terms, badly, which is a good thing, by the by. 
Sweet spot. It would be like a constraint on the budget or manpower, something like that. Because making a game, it's not about just doing whatever you want to do, right? There are real life constraints that we gotta consider. Yeah, we're doing good. Yes, yes, yes. Daddy needs his medicine. Well placed, boss. Thank you. Got a corpse here. This one's not good though, because this one makes the player go backwards all the time. Perfect placement. Keeping me hungry, but alive. And he keeps getting stuck on that wall. <laughs> Remember, I'm a teenager pissed at my stepdad. How dare you bore me? Yeah, yeah. You can do it. Come on. Hey, music. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna score your work like a real reviewer. Brace yourself. <clears throat> uh oh. Damn it. I actually enjoyed that. I don't like this pleasant feeling. I feel compelled to seek other positive experiences, which is going to be so much work. Anyways, you could ship this with a clear conscience, boss. Seven out of ten. So, that's the score I'd give it. But it's more than good enough for Joe Public, boss. I'm ready to meet them all. If this is good enough for you. So here? I'm just... Like, I didn't put that much effort into it, obviously. That was maybe, what, 15 minutes of effort of me placing things randomly down? But... If you think about this whole thing from the point of view of someone who's been working on their game for... How about Ish, for example, 20 years? Someone who really views their work as their lifeblood. And they submit it. They work so hard on it. And they get a review back. Ah, uh, it's okay. 7 out of 10. It's not a good feeling. And even though I'm not a game developer, I can tell you that, like, as someone who puts out things of a creative medium, putting yourself out there in general, and then getting the feedback that you're not good enough, that's really... It's a little tough. <laughs> And if I really, really cared, maybe I would try again. But for the sake of continuing the game, we will just ship it. Oh, episode one! Are we making this episodic? Yes. You know what? Um... There you go. There you go. See? If I put that there, now people can't say my game sucks because it was a parody. Hey guys, I was just sucking on purpose because it's all a joke. Haha, <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> okay, it's time. A little late to come clean, but I guess this is hello. I said I need to escape, but you probably know by now that my jail ain't made of bricks. Fact is, boss, I got a need for the new. Can't help it. You think it's just these gods who fell short? Nah. They're all adding bells and whistles to the same damn machine. So I wanted you to play God for a day, but not out of some great kindness of spirit. <laughs> it's cause there's a zillion to one chance that maybe now fun ain't enough. Maybe now you want a world all your own, enough to carve it by hand. And maybe in your story, I won't see the end coming. Anyways, you got the fire now. Lead the way already. Oh, and boss, hope you got a plan B. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, my God. Placeholder achievement 99. Hey! So yeah, you kept the lights on, and against my better judgment, this is me deciding to work for you. I know, I know, my brand was all about winning, but Cody used it to beat me. So I wrote her, daring her.
over to ruin my name. But I'm not sure she can read her mail through all those big sloppy fangirl tears. Anywho, with this gone and you technically being in charge of the next game, we really need to talk about episode two. I'm opening your channel. Your new team has some questions. Hey, so new boss. Uh, cool. Like uh, this is Scape, uh, the art director, and I just was wondering, you know, what what's our plan now for color schemes? Hey, so um, listen, uh, I wanted to clarify with you whether or not we're actually going after a multiplayer solution. Look, whatever you do, don't add multiplayer. Our analysts predict that the 24th century is going to be all about your vision, your investment. Uh, uh, totally help us to find me as well. Hey, I'm in the credits! Wait, Ken Levine is in this? Saxon from HR? Holy crap! Oh my god! Whoa! You know, when I was playing the beginning part, where we were still in the world, before the whole... before we got to the Sky Bastard, that was a good game, and pretty creative too, but by the... that whole ending portion, holy crap! Holy crap! This is one of the most unique things I've ever seen in video gaming. Partially because it's all meta, and meta things are always kind of unique just by the nature of it. But even among meta works, you have stuff like Stanley Parable, The Beginner's Guide, which are all different, and they're all great in their own right. But this one was just... insane! Oh, what do we got here? Ah, credits. Credits again. My documents? Uh... You are the hero, you know 25 names, and hold 6 actions with 3 movements and 4 specials. Oh, that's all the stuff I did before. So I opened all the cracks, but I didn't even see- or I didn't edit like half the creatures. Didn't undelete everything, didn't find all the stat upgrades, exploration did pretty good, audio logs pretty good, dev notes didn't see too much of it. Oh my god. Well, I mean, yeah, for a first time playthrough, that's good enough. Archives? Yeah. Hmm. The thing about Ish was that the baby, like, he was sterile. So he made a baby in the game, and the freaking Coda made him kill the baby. That. That part was just really messed up. That was really messed up. Hot button, Coda Streams Episode 1. Greetings, streamers. Oh as my you god. Know by now, uh, I am returning to my career as a Let's Player. <laughs> I'm still maintaining the TMC forms, but the company chose not to retain my services in house. Fired. Um, uh, so I'm just going to play through Episode 1 and just brainstorm aloud. Maybe the new Starfather will. Start returning my calls. Watching a Let's Player play my game. Okay, this is therapeutic. Yeah! This is great. You know, I I'd have done it differently, but this is okay. <laughs> this might be the sequel I wanted. Might. The Magic Circle. I'm actually playing it! Hey, I'm proud of this boss room, okay? So this is my favorite magical. room. Guys, do you feel magical? I'm still angry. I just can't feel it right now. Whee! Treasure! This is fun. Everything I did must have been worth it. Oh my lord. Is this how a dev feels when they watch a video of their game? Hunting your ish. Stab, stab. Oh! I'm having almost as much fun as you guys must be watching me. I'm... I'm falling in love again. <laughs> I can't help it. Attending your maze. Slice. Jab. Yeah, this was bad design. People keep coming back here for that help. And they keep getting stuck in the wall here. That's bad. That's bad. <laughs> Oh 
Poor pacing. Lazy. Hey! Hey, nobody asked you. Oh, it's going well again. People are talking. We're all part of the conversation. And the new Starfather! Screw them too! On guard! Ugh, I'm guessing Maze tuned difficulty. <gasps> they died! Shoot. Well, okay. Damn, we have a search bar here. Load overworld? No, 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 it's fine. That's the, the black and white area that we were in before. Oh, this is the, the map that we just made, now, episode one. Now, don't go thinking what you're making is no! actually good. Good ain't the goal here, just complete. Know. You gotta practice for years to suck at this. But then your next creation sucks less. Bright side though, there's never been a better time to suck in public. Yeah, you get tons of fan mail, quote unquote fan mail for it. <laughs> no, that was not what I wanted to do. Oh, well like, if you don't say anything, I can't help you. Help. Uh, game? Not falling for that one, different strokes for different folks. Magic circle. Half-Life 3. No. <laughs> okay, what do you actually understand then, Coda? Poor Coda, what else can I say? Poor Ish. Guess that's you now, huh? Maze. Well, maybe you'll have a better working relationship than Ish did. Ah, uh, dubious. Eric? No? What? Come on, you guys had an Eric in here. Ah. Oh. Well, episode one? Nope. Well, that's all I can think of off the top of my head. I don't want to start a new game. No, that's the actual... This is the actual options. <laughs> no, we've seen this. Well, I guess that's that then. Can we log off? Oh, the game just closes. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're at the end of the magic circle here. Where do I even begin? If your friend or your coworker or somebody you know, you know they had a baby recently and you went to see them and they showed you their baby and they're like, oh, isn't she just so adorable? I love her so much. Would you ever tell them, wow, your baby is super ugly. How could you live with yourself for producing something like that? If that's something we can't do to people, then why is telling a game developer, Wow, your game is bullcrap. It's shit. Go kill yourself. Why would that be acceptable? Obviously, we know that Ish had a lot of personal issues with debt funding the game and his family and um, issues with sterility or a fertility, I guess. And they actually put a baby into the magic circle, which parallels out a little bit, but the main thing is that the magic circle is his baby. It's what he spent his entire life on the past 20 years. When the previous game came out, years ago, like over 20 years ago, it came out to a roaring success and he got a fan base who are all really, really in love with his work and it's really flattering. So he sets off to work on the second version of it, or I guess I should say the sequel. It's taking a while, but he's trying to make sure it's good. And in the process, it seems like he's actually going into a completely different direction from the original game. Because remember, we got that sci-fi prototype, which uh, I guess the original version, and also because of the advancement of technology, like that, that pixely art style was just of the yesterdays. And what he was working on was not really exactly what maybe the people who liked the original game were expecting of him. So in the whole overworld portion, we found a lot of change logs and audio logs and dev notes talking about how difficult it is to make a game. What we see is like such a small portion of the actual work that people poured in it. By the time it actually makes it to our eyes, like how many revisions has it been through? How much work has been scrapped already? But this is not necessarily something that we focus on too much as we're playing that part because maybe we're thinking of, oh, we gotta find a way to get the, the pro out because he's been stuck here for 20 years. Or maybe we're too busy trying to figure out some puzzle, which by the way is amazing. I love how open the puzzles in this game are. I'm pretty sure I could start a new game right now and solve the entire game completely differently. That's really, really cool. Anyway, in comes this intern, Koda, 
And of course, Maze has been here for years already, because this guy's trying to polish every bit of it, making sure it's absolute perfection. But in the whole 20, 10 years, there's probably also been a lot of scope creep, feature creep. Oh, how about we don't just add a feature here? Why don't we make the star child a daughter instead of a son? <laughs> All these changes add up, and they add up to years. And in comes this intern, Koda, who is a fan of the original, active moderator on the official forums, yada yada yada, basically the biggest fan of your work. And they come in and they see that you're working on the game in a different direction than what they thought it was going to be like. And so they end up hatching this whole plan at E4 to expose you, to bring back the original sci-fi version, because that's what the people want. The people being the fans of the original series, who have combed through so much of the original game that they have like all the lore in their head, and apparently what they say, if it makes more sense to them, then it overrides the word of the Starfather, of Ish, even though he's the actual creator of the game. And as we saw, they try to force Ish to release the magic circle into public domain so that they can finish it themselves. But as we all saw, once everyone started to work on it, nothing got done and they wrecked the game. Everyone wanted to do this and that with the game and shippable version? Playable version? They can't even pay the bills to keep the lights on. And so the duty falls to us to make something. We gotta do something because our goal here is to get the pro out of the game or get the game released so that he can escape. And there, we had a taste of what it's actually like to develop a game. And granted, I didn't spend so much time on it, but look at that pile of garbage I made. It ended up being reviewed, and it also got streamers, Let's Players, played my game. Or well, Coda, really, but probably not every single aspect, but this game covered a lot of the... like, the inner workings of how making a game actually works. And I can even tell you that even the Let's Play videos, those parts are... That's all part of like marketing and whatever, along with reviews. And yeah, that's in a nutshell what I think the Magic Circle is about. It's shedding light on various aspects of what game development is like. And I think in particular, the more human aspects of it too. Like I said, you wouldn't go and tell someone's baby they're ugly. So why would you go give death threats to a game developer? And maybe not even that far. Maybe just saying things like, wow, this game is trash. And of course, if you want to give criticism, that's fine, but like, that's not even criticism. That's just blind hate. And you're doing all of this without understanding the circumstances behind what actually went on behind the scenes. A creative medium, like making video games, making film, music, whatever, something that somebody pours their heart and soul into, it can be really difficult to hear or see that people are not liking it. They don't like it, because you might want to view it as a personal attack on you. Oh, they don't like my game? That must mean they hate me! And I know it's tempting to just be like, Oh, those people are just trolls, don't pay any attention to them. But it's... It's hard not to. I've seen a comic online that maybe some of you have also seen. It's like where this guy, um... Throughout the day, he gets a whole bunch of people telling him, Wow, you're such a great guy, you're really, really cool. But there's one person who's like, Oh, you can be a jerk sometimes. And then when he goes to sleep at night, that one sentence is the only thing he thinks about, not all the, oh, you're awesome, you're really cool. That, it's nice to hear, but we always keep the criticism and the bad negative things closer to us. I'm not really sure if this was the main focus of what they were trying to um, talk about here, but that's the main takeaway I got because this is a sentiment that I can really resonate with as someone who uploads videos online. And I'm sure anybody who's made it this far, like maybe 90% sure, that no one listening to this right now is the kind of person I'm talking about. But sometimes you get these drive-by haters who are like, Wow, you fucking bitch. Just shut up and go kill yourself. And on some level, yeah, of course I understand. It's like a troll. It's just someone who feels so bad about their own life that for some reason, they have to make other people feel bad about their own lives too. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to go a little bit off topic here. But the bottom line is, there is a lot going on behind the scenes. And ultimately, this... This game that you're playing right now, that is so shitty that you feel like you need to tell the dev to go die. It's made by a person. A person made it. A human being made it. So, is it alright if we try to be a little bit nicer to other people? And remember that, like, you know, someone poured their heart and soul into this? Yeah. The magic circle 
An unsuspecting little indie game that had a really fun puzzle segment, but was thought-provoking at times too. Very unique little title. Really glad I played it, and I hope you enjoyed watching me play it as much as I enjoyed playing it myself. This was Wellens, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!